The Concrete Starter Pack plugin for PlanSwift gets you up and running faster than ever with over 400 templates, parts, and assemblies ready to drag, drop, and go. In this video, you'll see where those templates live, how to use them to create takeoff, and how to drag and drop parts if you need to make on-the-fly modifications. Once you've purchased and downloaded the plugin, the next step is to install it. First, click the Import Plugin Package button from the ribbon bar on the Plugins tab. Then, browse to where you downloaded the PlanSwift Plugin Package file and double-click it. The Install window opens. Follow the prompts to install the plugin, and then restart PlanSwift. Once you reopen the program, click the Templates tab, and you'll see two new tabs for Concrete Assemblies and Concrete Parts. In the Concrete Assemblies tab, you'll find Basic and Advanced Assemblies for Area, Linear, Segment, and Count Takeoff tools. The Basic Assemblies come with generic material and labor items for unit costing. The Advanced Assemblies contain specific parts, labor, and sometimes even equipment lines. The Concrete Parts tab is where all those individual lines come from and you'll find even more lines here that you can use to create new assemblies or swap into or add to the existing assemblies if necessary. Let's see how to use the assemblies. Looking at the footing detail, we have a grade beam that's 16 inches wide by 32 inches deep. It needs six runs of number six rebar running horizontally, a four foot number four dowel every 16 inches on center vertically to tie the beam into the slab, and number three stirrups every 10 inches on center. Let's look at the Templates Parts Inputs panel and select Concrete Assemblies from the drop-down menu. You can take off the grade beams using a linear takeoff tool, so expand the Linear Assemblies folder. You want as much detail as possible, so let's expand the Advanced Assemblies folder. Inside, there's a takeoff tool for a grade beam that includes concrete, two different number rebars, stirrups, and labor. Sounds perfect. Click the green circle to create the takeoff tool and open the properties for the grade beam. In the properties window, you can adjust things like the rebar spacing, bar size, number of bars needed per horizontal and vertical run, and stirrup information. So it's easy to precisely match what the plan calls for. While here, you can add custom pricing on the pricing tab or adjust the work breakdown structure. Click OK to start drawing takeoff. Once finished, select the takeoff to view the total material and labor needed for the grade beam. For example, you can easily see how many cubic yards of concrete you need, how many pounds of rebar are required, the total number of stirrups, and labor. Now let's say you buy rebar by the ton instead of pounds, and you don't want to deal with the conversion. No problem, we can change it. Start by switching from the concrete assemblies to concrete parts in the template panel. We're still dealing with the linear takeoff, so let's expand the linear takeoff parts folder. Inside the steel folder, there's rebar price per foot, per bar, per pound, and per ton. In this case, select rebar priced per ton. Inside are parallel and perpendicular runs. Let's start with our horizontal bars, so expand on the parallel folder. Our horizontal bars are number six, so drag the number six rebar line onto your takeoff to add it to the assembly. The Properties window appears again, where you can make any changes required for your grade beam. Now let's do the same for the vertical run. Perfect. Your assembly now has some number 6 and number 4 rebar in tons. At this point, be sure to right-click on the rebar lines listed in pounds and delete them so you don't end up with extra steel in your bid. There are also assemblies and parts for use when creating area takeoffs, like a slab on grade, or count takeoff like peers. Just select the appropriate option from the template parts inputs panel. If you select the estimating tab, you can see your total cost and prices if you added that information while creating your takeoff, or you can add it now. The Concrete Starter Pack gives you all the parts and assemblies you need to get up and running doing concrete estimates in PlanSwift today. Before you build, construct connect.